One in two men will die from cancer by the age of 85. Breast cancer is the most common cancer in women in Australia and the second most common cancer to cause death in women. Although breast cancer is more common in women than men, it still exists in the lives of men across Australia. In 2012, 2,795 women and 24 men died of breast cancer in Australia. The risk of being diagnosed with breast cancer by age 85 is 1 in 8 for women and 1 in 917 for men. The research question needs to be asked in order to clarify whether enough research is being done for male breast cancer, whether the media and marketing of male breast cancer is being targeted with a gender-specific approach, and to question how the social stigma and feminine barriers can be eliminated within society through better communication. We are here today speaking to Nathan Dart, a representative of the New South Wales Cancer Council. Nathan, do you think that there should be a more gender equal approach to the distribution of information in regards to breast cancer? I do. Cancer Council focuses on all types of cancers. Uh, and breast cancer is widely known, but not a lot of people know about breast cancer in men and the impact that it has on their lives after treatment. Do the Cancer Council use gender-specific advertisement and promotion? Don't necessarily advertise and promote men's cancer. 130 men each year are diagnosed in Australia with breast cancer. From your perspective, do you think that the Cancer Council website really give enough information to men on breast cancer? Um, but definitely there could be more. I mean, there could be more right across Australia around uh, men and breast cancer. Because it's, uh, there's so much information about there about women and breast cancer, that information can be often confused. So, these advertisements here, they're largely targeted at women, obviously. Sure. Do they at all encourage you to ever get a self-breast check? Uh, no, I think my impression was it was that male breast cancer is rare enough uh, that I didn't have to worry too much about it. So maybe I'm wrong about that. Marty, what's the first thing that comes to mind when you hear the word breast cancer? Well, uh, women, to be honest with you. Women? Like just right now when you said it, the first word that came to my mind was women and how, because it's so prevalent seeing the ads. Yeah. So you've really grown up with the idea that women alone can get breast cancer? That's absolutely correct. That's absolutely correct, yeah, yeah. So did you know at all that men could get breast cancer? Absolutely not. I have no, no idea. Not at all. To be honest with you. That's would right. these absolutely. advertisements, <laughs> would, would they encourage you at all to go get no, a I'll breast think, check? No, if I were to see this somewhere, I'd think it's a joke. Yeah, think it's like some, especially some, for men. Yeah, for men, I'd think it's some kind of prank. Fiona, what's the first thing that comes to mind when you hear the word breast cancer? Women. Um, and pink, <laughs> just pink women. <laughs> Did you know that men could get breast cancer? Absolutely not, no, I didn't think so at all. Oh, I think it's very targeted to women, so I don't, if I didn't know that you know men could get breast cancer, I don't think many men would know that as well. And the ads sort of focus on women and once again, bras and pink. Women, pink, feel that a lot of the advertisements um, for, for, for cancer in particular are, are generally based at women simply because there's more exposure, there's more opportunities to talk about things. Men seem to, to kind of push issues away and cancer is, is something that affects so many different people and, and something that, um, that impacts so many as well. It, it doesn't discriminate, it, it doesn't look at, at race, it doesn't look at gender, it doesn't look at colour of skin. It's, it will always affect someone and, and that's something that we need to be quite aware of. Well, why not men get attention about you know, their cancers of their you know, uh, sensitive organs? It seems unfair that as a society we focus more on that. And I think it's not only breast cancer but just in general, as a society we, we tend to um, focus more on the issues that women have in their lives than men.